I've been using Puff Final for years now, and I must be honest, it has been a disaster. And nothing seemed to work out, so I kind of pushed it to the side. But as of late, I have been using so much Puff Final that I think I've mastered it. And just when I thought I mastered it, I get my hands on some new metallic Puff Final. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, I'm Patrice, and this is Craftable Things. Please be sure to check out the other content. If you enjoy that content, please click the subscribe button, and also remember to give this video a thumbs up. Also check us out on other social medias like Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. We're also Craftable Things there as well. But y'all, today, I have something new to test out. So we got a hold of some Walla Cut Metallic Puff Vinyl. This is Heat Transfer Warehouse's brand. This is super new and guess what? We need to test it out. We need to see how legit it is and I'm really excited to test it out. As I said before, I've been having a lot of success with Puff Vinyl as of late, but this is something new. So we are going to be using one of these colors. I don't think we're gonna use all of them. I'm also going to use a little bit of Caesar Glitter HTV because I already have a design in mind. And to cut this out, we are going to be using our Cricut Maker 3. All right, so let's get ready to get started. The first thing we're gonna do is head into Cricut Design Space and I'm already on our canvas that we're going to be using. I need to upload the design that we will be using today. And so on the left hand panel, all the way at the bottom, we have upload. And then I'm going to select upload image, browse. Today I'm gonna to be using an image that I created. A link will be listed below. We are using an SVG file. However, if you purchase anything off of design bundles or Creative Fabrica, these steps would apply as well. Okay, so our image, imported incorrectly and now we are just simply going to add it to canvas once it's added into canvas we want to make sure that we just have everything aligned correctly as you all see for some reason the word love is not a part of or well, it's not in place so i'm just going to click onto the design and ungroup it and then love once we're done cutting and pressing it will look like this okay and so all i'm going to do now is group everything that i want to cut together and the only two parts that i really want to cut together is the word one and also i want the outline to cut with one okay but you don't have to cut it this way you can cut it a completely different way which suits your own needs. All right, so I have that selected and I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to weld that together. So let me select that again and we're gonna select the outline and I am just going to head down to combine and we're gonna weld it together. Now you can attach it, but I chose to, to weld it, all right? So that's all set. And next we're going to put the inside so the blue part which is the inside of the word we're going to let's send that to the back so we're sending the word one and the outline to the back so now we have our blue in the front so we're going to select the blue and also this pink heart i'm actually going to cut that out together that's all going to be one color so i'm going to do the same steps i'm going to you can either select combined at the bottom of the layer panel or you can right click and then you can select combine from your menu all right so that's welded together if you will notice as i welded each part of the design together our layers reduced okay so i have my layers set up exactly how i want depending on whatever it is that you're doing you may set your color scheme up a little bit differently which will have different layer options for you all right so let's get ready to print this out everything is set 
However, let me just make sure that this is sized how I want it to be sized. And right now I'm showing this is a little bit, um, it's about 10 and three quarters inches wide. And I'm gonna make it a little bit larger. I don't wanna go too large because it's going, going to go on a large shirt and I want it to look nice on the shirt. I want the placement to be good. So this looks great. We're ready to send this to our Maker 3. So we're going to select Make, and this is already going to be set up onto the different mats that we need. You need to make sure that you mirror your images because this is going to be placed face down onto your cutting mat. It is an HTV, and generally we mirror all HTV finals, okay? There are very rare occasions where you may not, but in this case, we are going to be mirroring our images, and you want to make sure you mirror each mat. All right, so we're going to get ready to send this to our maker. The cut settings that we'll be using today is the glitter iron-on setting. All right, guys, so the first color that we're going to be using is this gold metallic so we're going to be mixing it up with a little bit of glitter all right so we are going to just place this face down on our mat and this is the mat side so it's going to be mat side down make sure that you mirror your image and I also want to remove this paper. Even though it's good to let I'll remember what material this is, for the purpose of cutting it on the mat, I don't want to leave any residue. All right, so we're just gonna place this right here just like this. And you can use your brayer to make sure it's on there nicely. I don't have my brayer handy right now. So we're just gonna do it just like this. And we're gonna get ready to place this inside of the machine. So for today's cut, I am going to be using the glitter iron-on setting. And we're gonna see how that cuts. Now on their website, they should have the recommended cut settings for you to be able to see exactly what they recommend. like that cut it does look like it cut good so we're gonna get ready to weave this all right so next we're going to be cutting more puff and we're going to put that through That looks good. And finally, it's time for us to add our glitter HTV in. All right, y'all, so let's see how this cut. Remember I used the glitter iron-on setting for all of the cuts. So let's see, but I do see how pretty 
this is even without being pressed. Wow. All right, so that glitter iron on setting worked beautifully. This is the type of HTV that I'd never want to throw away. So keeping the scraps is a must. And these small pieces can go in the garbage. All right, All right so this one I need to cut. I usually like to use my paper slicer for this, but I'm kind of in a little bind right now. Well, I'm not really in a bind. I just didn't feel like getting it. And I'm actually looking right at it. All right, so now we're going to, oh, this is so pretty. Wow. Uh, come on. I don't know about y'all, but I love just weeding with my hands. What about you guys? Let me know below if that is something that you do also. Like once you get it going, you just use your hands to do the rest. This is a lot quicker to me. Oh, that is pretty. Look at the red. And of course, this isn't pressed yet, so we do have to wait for it to press, but wow. Maybe I did this a little bit too big. Now that I look at it, it might be a little bit too big, but it's okay. All right, so this one, we just got to make sure we weed everything out correctly, okay? So I do like to grab the edge and then start to weed, but of course, I'm going to take it a little slow. I'm going to go a little slowly because I can't really see well, see the cuts well. So I don't want to lift up any pieces that should not be lifted up. But so far, it's looking very good. All right. Let's see. There is a very, very small piece in here. Okay, that stayed down. The pedicure is fine. Let's see. And so anytime you're doing iron on, you want to make sure that you weed or that you want to make sure that you mirror <laughs> your design before cutting. I still forget sometimes. Luckily, I didn't forget. Okay. All right. So that looks good, but we're not done with this part because I still have to weed out the inner layers. So we're just gonna go ahead and weed out the inner parts. the heat press all right so this is going to be three layers the way that we set it up so let's head over to the heat press all right guys so now we're at the heat press and we're going to get ready to press our shirt today i'm using a gildan 100 percent cotton shirt again the size of this shirt is a large so you'll be able to see what this design looks like what i like about using SVGs, you can resize it to whatever size you want to, depending on the shirt that you're going to be using. And you don't have to worry about distorting the image. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna give this a pre-press. Today, our heat press is set at 280 degrees. 
And with puff vinyl, you want to make sure that you have heavy pressure. Heavy, heavy pressure. At least that's what works for me. All right, so we're going to get ready to place our glitter vinyl on top, or glitter HTV on top. And I'm actually going to be pressing this at 325 degrees for the glitter, for the Caesar Glitter HTV. That works really good for me. I never worry about it lifting up. All right, guys, let's get ready to press that. All right, so that's done. And we're going to go ahead and peel. All right, that looks good. All right, guys, so now we're going to get ready to apply the puff vinyl. And I'm going to tighten this up a bit. I want heavy, heavy pressure. All right, let's test it out. That is heavy. That looks or feels like that's going to be great. So the first part we're going to apply is the red part for inside of the word chick. I'm just lining it up. All right, that looks good. And this is what it looks like. And we only need to press this for eight seconds. All right, that's it. So now we have to peel it warm and it will look like there is nothing there, okay? It looks like nothing happened, right? So with this final, we're gonna have to press again for eight more seconds okay so let's go ahead and what i should do is i should go ahead and apply the word loved because i don't want to have to do too many more presses to it all right so there we have and this is what it's looking like so we're going to go ahead and press it one more time without any of the protection on top. Well, it does have this Teflon sheet here, so that does count, right? All right, so next, we're going to get ready to peel this off. And we're going to press one more time. But if you notice, we have some puff, and it looks really good. It looks really, really good. All right, so let's get ready to press one more time. All right. Okay, look at that, y'all. Very nice and smooth. That looks really good. I see the word loved. Look at that, I love it. And it is definitely giving us our puff fix. Love this puffed up too. Very nice. All right, y'all. So did that not look amazing? Y'all, I love this shirt. I'm totally obsessed with this new Wallacut metallic puff vinyl. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love how this came out. Wow. Just wow. Just wow. Look at that. Y'all, look at the puff and look at the color. It looks amazing. So it was super easy 
to use. Um, I didn't have any issues with it. You just have to remember that first press is just, I guess, to make sure that it's adhered to the shirt. And then that second press is to puff it up. Now, remember, you want to make sure that you have heavy pressure. Light pressure, me, it does not work for me. Every time I have it on heavy pressure, 280 degrees for eight seconds, it puffs beautifully for me. Not just this metallic uh, puff vinyl, like other puff vinyl, you have that really, really does matter. So look how this looks. This looks amazing. So there will be a link listed to the design and also to the new Walla Cut Puff Metallic Vinyl listed below in the description if you are interested in getting any of it for y'all. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to head over to Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok and join the Craftable Things communities there as well. We would love to have you. But that's it for today, y'all. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time.